Hello everybody and welcome back to 20 minutes till dawn. The game where lots of things happen and we possibly die and lose. Uh, we have new characters. We got Yuki. I think that's actually all of the new characters. <laughs> Just the one. Um, but I'm sure... I mean, Yuki's actually kind of overpowered, to be honest. But we're going to try here with Abby. We have beat the game with Yuki uh, while I was off stream at one point. It was entire, entirely an accident, of course. <laughs> if you have exactly one summon, gain 10% summon damage and summon attack speed per rank. Uh, every 50 kills, your gun enters the ethereal state. While ethereal, your gun does not consume ammo. Ethereal lasts for two seconds per rank. Hmm... Let's see, what do I want out of these things? Every third shot has infinite piercing and double bullet size. You know what, we're taking that. Cadence is pretty neat. Can't afford two of them. We kind of went with uh, burning and freezing builds. Maybe we'll try something else, this, something else this time. Bullet damage and summon damage increased by 10%. Uh, we won't be burning or freezing. After shooting your last ammo, deal damage to all nearby enemies or close combat. Demis take 3% extra damage while per rank while within your vision range. We'll take that. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. A few ranks of that. That's uh, four, that's 12% extra damage. Uh, while enemies die while they're burning or frozen, I guess that's not so big a deal. We, we do want to switch out to some of these other ones <clears throat> at some point in the future. Um, we're not doing the burn or freeze thing, so that's fine. Vision range is up, so that'll cause more damage. We have a new weapon we want to get right here, the magic bow, but it costs money. I didn't realize it was here. We'll get that next time we get the opportunity to. So we're going to take Abby, and we're going to take... Duel SMGs? Duel, 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 duel. <laughs> Let's go grenade launcher. This ought to be interesting. Uh, we could go to Darkness 1. Small enemies spawn more often. That should be helpful with uh, with us doing, uh, you know, AoE damage with our grenades. See, look at that. That's so safe. It is the most safe thing that I can imagine. Running and gunning and spinning and shooting all at once. We have a problem, though. We have a problem. I don't have any music on. We'll keep it at 25%. There we go. Continuing right along. We have to avoid getting things that trigger more of these explosions because they can hurt us. And hurting us is what we don't want to do. We don't we don't want us to hurt ourselves. Max HP up, sure. Let's get big. Let's get giant so that we walk into our own explosions. The problem with the grenade launcher is that the range on it is too close to our own character. It does natural AOE damage though, which is nice. But uh, it can be an issue. Let's get glare, sure. Oh my God, I just thought of something. So if we uh, level up glare far enough, um, it will actually do our on hit effects on enemies that it targets. We will start having people exploding at some point in this, like they are full of grenades just by us staring at them. That could be interesting. We walk so slow. Uh, sight magic. Damage from glare also applies the on hit effects of your bullets. There it is. Let's see if it causes them to explode. They don't seem to explode. Okay. So that's not counted as an on hit effect. It's counted as an ammo effect. If we move too fast, we're gonna blow ourselves up here. It's a good weapon, but it is a bit frightening. Increase bullet damage and fire rate when we get hit, sure. Yikes. Yeah, come on. Oh yeah. Let's rely 
on luck to survive today's game. Um, we could regenerate health. That could be good. Let's let's saccade though. Let's make enemies get hurt more often and faster uh, from being within our vision range. And if we can get the item pickup thing too, we can increase our vision range even further, which is causing our enemies to take 12% extra damage. You notice instead of taking 25, they're taking 28, which is you know helpful to know that we can do that. We can get rid of a lot of enemies in one direction very quickly this way, but if we get surrounded, especially if I decide to do that, <laughs> spin and shoot in every single direction, uh, we could murder ourselves quite easily. We're gonna go with like a regenerative build though, so we can regenerate our health. We can also have a shield on occasion that will uh, keep us alive. And then maybe we can increase the amount of time that we get the shield. Maybe we can survive longer, have more health. You know, all that kind of good, strong, powerful stuff that we're looking for. There's intense glare. The damage of glare has just been doubled to 56. Ow, we've hurt ourselves because our explosions are too grand. Might be better for us to be slow and use this, to be honest. And uh, with glare doing its thing as well, we're still causing damage to enemies all around the map, so... Uh, moving quick sucks with grenades. Okay, we could do rapid fire, but that'll start causing these things to bounce. That's a horrible idea. We'll take a power shot. Now our shots do more damage. 111 damage for an explosive hit within the appropriate range, of course. Well, at least to that guy, it did. didn't do it to everybody. There's the big monster. Hit him with all the explosives. There, we already got the treasure. Look how fast that was. And now, projectiles plus two, fire rate is down, our spread is out. Hmm, bullet storm, huh? Now we're throwing out three grenades at once when we spin. Uh, we'll become big and slow. We are very, very slow. And we could very quickly kill ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like a, probably a bad idea for our run, but you know what? It's fine. Magnetism. Now we can see a little or we can grab things from a little further away, which will be helpful. We can increase our vision range with it. We just regenerated. Nice. Now we just need to start regenerating our shields faster as well, and then we will have the trifecta. The powerful health super, super thing. Uh, there we go. Give me, give me all. Give me all things. There's so much boom happening on this screen. Boom, 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 ba -do -ba -doom, boom, 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 boom. Um, I think we're gonna take Divine Blessing. That way we can get uh, closer to maxing out our shields, too. And soon we'll be able to throw lightning from our shields as well. I have a feeling that there's a synergy involving the shield and the max health up, and I want to see what it is. I want to see what all the synergies are in, the, in this game are. This is a very underrated game, in my opinion. You have things like Vampire Survivors, which did incredibly well for such an inexpensive game. This game is also inexpensive and also has a devoted dev team and is, uh, is really worthwhile. I think that one's going to be the one right there. Excellent. Whatever we do, we don't want to get the thing that allows us to shoot a bunch of these all in circles around us or to trigger whenever our opponents. Uh, that's a lot of damage on you already. Oh god. Oh gosh. Ugh. Quickly move. We're so slow. There, got you. We can't get out there and get that until the time has passed, though, so we're gonna have to go without having our our cool upgrades yet. Splinter, that one right there. We don't want that one. But we will take the stalwart shield so that our shield regenerates faster. So we've got multiple ways to get health back now. And we do have a huge amount of damage we can pump out all at once. We're just very slow. And when we get to later sections of the game, we have to dodge a lot of little red shots. We could be in a, a world of hurt. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. 
If we make it that far and I don't kill myself accidentally, firing out explosives everywhere. All right, Wall, you can leave now so I can go get my upgrade, please. Uh, magic lens, there we go. We're gonna take watch and learn. Pickup range has increased, vision range has increased. Now we have harmed ourselves. All right, we can go get this now and see what it is. Tomb of Rage, Tome of Rage. Fire much faster, spread much farther. Bullet damage goes down 50%. Ugh, that's not what we want at all. Tomb of Elasticity, so our <laughs> bullets bounce. That's horrible. Uh, power. Yep, that's what we're doing. They go a little bit further out. The explosions are uh, a lot bigger, though, so it might actually be a horrible idea for us to spin to win. Just do these. Firing while walking backwards is going to be our safest way to do this. Those are some big booms. Um, Divine Wrath. Now we can call down lightning as well. I have a feeling if a synergy exists, we'll be seeing it in an upgrade pretty soon. I need to be able to reload faster. Uh, rapid fire, haste, quick hands. Let's get quick hands so we can reload faster. Ow! I just regenerate and you immediately harm me. What the hell? What the hell? My bullets do 65 damage, my explosions do like 117. While our divine shield is in place, we reload faster. So there we go. Ah! Uh, rapid fire, not necessary. This isn't great. Haste, dragon egg. None of these are wonderful. I guess I'll take rapid fire. Can do that, just stand still and spin so that we're at least safe. Ow! Stupid eyeball, guys. A lot of death happening right now. Uh, quickly reloading? Light bullets, no. Fresh clip. Increase bullet damage 50% after reloading. Reload rate 10% max ammo plus two. We'll do that. Now we can spin! Wipe out so many of you all at once. Die. Aha! 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 God. Uh, ow. This is all we can do. There's so many of them. Ah! <laughs> kill clip. Increase reload rate 5% for every enemy killed. Yes. Reload super fast. Oh, God. Oh god, we're hurting ourselves. <laughs> it's so bad. Electromage or uh, uh, uh I wish I had some better options. I don't like this, but we're going to take it. Also, I feel like maybe there wasn't a synergy between shield and health. You'd imagine that that would be a perfect one for it. But I guess not. Uh siege? Yeah, she she siege me up. Sometimes we can just keep tossing these things out like crazy. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Ow. Ah, we killed ourselves. And there it was. Ah, balls. Okay, well, we're going to go back out. We're going to grab the magic bow. That's the one I wanted to try, but I ended up wasting my my points uh, early on a few things and forgetting I needed to buy this first. Give, give me. Give, here, come here, mouse. Come over here, mouse. I'll buy you. This will be the weapon we use. Why can't we see you very well? So magic bow 
and Abby this time. We'll try this again. I feel like that's going to be a good combination. So the magic bow shoots out arrows. They all kind of bounce all over the place. And then when you reload, they would all come flying back to us. And then that's that. Let me take a drink and then we'll continue. This episode brought to you by drinks. Everybody needs them sometimes. Um, what was the one that we didn't really need anymore? It was uh, something to do with more fire magic-y. None of these things. Okay. So that was it. So gain move speed 7% per rank for a second. Or we're going to summon some seismic wards. Well, a seismic ward or two. Okay. Abby, magic bow. Darkness one. Let's go. Here we are. We got a couple of wards around us. We can fire these arrows out. We'll reload. They'll come flying back to us. So we want to create as many of these as possible. We want to have like a huge clip. We want to have fast reload so that we can just smack these all out and then run them through our opponents. They do pierce. So we can go like that and then we can draw them back to us as we will. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, uh, reload rate increased. I like that. Rapid fire, I like that too. So we're gonna go with reload speed for now. We'll try to get a way to reload like super fast, like what we had before with uh, multi-shot. We need lots and lots of these things out at once. We need them to go all over the place. Just a mess, a mess of crossbow bolts or arrows or what have you. Just flying out of us like a storm cyclone of doom. Um, hmm, we could set things on fire with them. We're gonna get some haste. Let's let's move a little bit. Let's fast fire a little bit faster. Make sure we stay ahead of the game at all times. They have taken down our shield because no, they didn't. Okay, they bounced away from me. I thought that was a shield thing, but I think it was the uh, these little stones I got here pushing people away. There are a lot of you here. Okay, next up. Magic Lens, Divine Blessing. All of these are not what I wanted. Take a Magic Lens. So some of these arrows that go out through it from the random spinning that we do will be bigger and stronger and more powerful. So far, we're not getting what we want though. We are absolutely looking for something that'll increase the amount of these that we have. This game has a lot of potential. All the little add-ons they have, new weapons they've added. They haven't added new weapon or enemy types yet that I'm aware of, but I'm sure that maybe it's on its way as well. Uh, power shot would be really good. We'll take it. These things need to do more damage. And this will do more damage not only on the, uh, the outward, but on the return too. Ah! Glad we have shields all the time, but this enemy does. Uh, this enemy, this uh, weapon doesn't work quite as well at keeping enemies off us. Splinter's a good idea. Let's see how that does. Bunch of little little shots go arcing out as soon as we get hurt like that. That's not bad. If the enemies are all grouped together very solidly, we can cause a whole bunch of damage by them, like dying and killing each other. And those shots do three damage too when they bounce, which is pretty strong. Uh, fresh clip. So far, not feeling like we're getting the strongest build out of this yet. Uh, igniting lens, we got refraction bullets that pass through, gain two bounce, that could be good. Big shot, I like big shot. I think we're gonna take that. We want our bullets to pretty much like kill in one shot if we can, and then when they return, they'll also kill, and then we'll have a bunch of little bouncies that happen doing a, a lot of extra damage. 
So we're already doing four damage. If they go through our lens, they do six damage for the little, for the little triple arrows that come out. And if we're strong enough to kill enemies in like one shot of these things, then that's good for me. Uh, get this one. Uh, gosh. All right. We got Reaper Rounds. Reaper Rounds are great. It's damage, and they'll pierce through more enemies as they kill them, allowing us to take out even more of them all at once. Not that they aren't already kind of piercing, so... All right, let's go get this. If we can. Give it! Get out of my way! I need it! What do we get? Doubles how fast Abby fires. Excellent. Here we go. Now we got machine gun fire going on. That's what I was looking for. Um, and now if we can get more, I just picked up the wrong thing accidentally. If we can get some more uh, shots that go off too, that'll be even better. We just want like wave after wave of bullets that keep flying back to us. These magical arrows from our magical bow of amazing bonus. This rapid fire rate, yeah. My controller is not reacting appropriately right now. All right. We shoot very, very quickly now. Now if we can reload just as fast, that would be great. Ah! Yeah, we definitely need more shots to cover more of an area while we're spinning. Or more ammo would even be good too, if we could just get a few more rounds in the in the mag. In the clip. As some people say. Wrongly. Um, let's see. Bouncy bullets? Yeah, let's give me give me some bouncies. Wonder how bouncy bullets even work with uh, something that has piercing. I don't think they do. <laughs> We go through all of our shots so fast. Hello, big evil dog. Go away, big evil dog. It's harder to hit you with things like this. Rather than like the explosions, which we know can like tag pretty consistently. Well, that was bad. I got rid of my shield. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're alive still currently. Went up another level. Uh, kill clip. Yes. As we kill them, we'll reload faster. Ow. These have like no pushback already. I'm curious if we get the, uh, the super machine gun version thing going on with this, it might be okay. Might not be because if we reduce all of our damage down, that could be bad. Ah, it bounced them back right into my path where I was trying to run to. That's unfortunate. We haven't killed the boss yet. Which is really bad. Let's see. Igniting lens? Sure. If we could kill that guy anytime soon, that'd be great. Ah, God, we're already dead. Okay, maybe the wrong the wrong decision was made. <laughs> Decisions were made. They weren't good ones. So maybe instead of using Abby for that, we could try out, uh, not Diamond. We'll try Shauna. Shauna's got some neat tricks up uh, their sleeve. Get some more seismic wards. Okay. We'll try once more. This time with the bow and with Shauna. So we actually have to aim. Which will allow us to, you know, position where we want these to go on our own. If we can get the, uh, this is triple the effectiveness uh, level up option that Shauna gets on occasion. It could be all right. As it is now, 
I think the magic bow has some potential, but I haven't uh, figured out the best way to make it work yet. Bullet speed up, spread goes down, or speed. We, we need haste. Not being able to move while we're firing is going to get us killed. The fact that we didn't draw any uh, increased projectiles in the last one was pretty awful. But we can have the chance to do it here like that. Power shot, rapid fire, snipey snipes. Let's grab power shot. All right, easier to kill enemies now already. Take that, evil squid monsters. You know, this only happened because e people eat live octopus in in various places around the country, right? That's why Cthulhu and his minions hate us. It's because we have injured and harmed his minions for too long. Big shot, cool. We fire slower, but we fire harder. That allows us to take out larger groups of enemies quicker, which is nice. Yeah. Okay, what do we got? Quick hands. I'm not so worried about it. Reroll. Give me... We got Reaper rounds. We'll take those. That allows us to wipe out entire, like, groups of enemies all at once now, which is nice. Yeah. Bang, 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 bang. Let's see. Nope. Dang it. I guess we're going to take magnetism. Stay away from me. I voted for Timothy. I wanted him to survive. Why are you coming after me? That's a the boys reference for those of you that don't, don't know. That was a horrible scene. That poor, poor octopus didn't deserve what was given to him. But then again, pretty much nothing deserves uh, what happens on that show for the most part. Uh, let's grab... Let's grab Watch and Learn. Our vision radius has increased. Ah! I want more projectiles! Why can't I get more projectiles? Uh, okay, all of you. Die and leave me be. Oh god, there's so many of them. <laughs> ah. Reroll. Splinter. I mean, Splinter was very helpful before. It could still be. Be a lot more careful with our shots. With this build. Or with this weapon. But we're not doing so great yet. Oh god, there's so many of them. And we fire so slowly while we're moving. I need to get movement speed while firing. There's the boss. Okay, uh, run and gun. It's necessary now. We need to be able to move while we're shooting at a decent pace. The bounces from these, um, these runes around us is not helpful in my opinion, because they keep pushing enemies closer to me when I can narrowly avoid them normally. So, triple the effect of the next upgrade we take. What do we get? Recharge. Pickup range goes up 60%. Every XP pickup has a 10% chance to refill ammo. Do we want that? Oh, gosh, no. Ever... Rapid fire. Fire rate goes up 75%. Give me that. Whatever. We'll pick up lots. We'll increase our attack speed for a small period of time. 
every time we pick up stuff, I guess. I'm not gonna say that was the best way to get this. I really wanted more. Did they like remove extra projectiles? That's what <laughs> I'm feeling like that's the thing. Recharge, sure. Our pickup range is quite significant now, which is nice. Okay. There was a bug, apparently, with the bow that they just fixed, and it makes me wonder if drop rates for certain things are changed, depending on the weapon you're using, maybe? I don't know. All right, let's see. None of these things are what I want. Uh, bullet damage, bullet damage, there we go, we'll take that. In the wind. We got our shield back, that's good. The thing that concerns, concerns me the most is that the hit box on these arrows is so small, even when you've increased the size a lot, that um, it's actually kind of hard to hit most of our, our enemies with this. A lot of bullets, uh, when you increase the size and stuff, they get pretty dang big. Not, not this one. Um, sure. Take more reload rate so we can fire a little bit faster and, and keep our keep our shots going. Oh, there we go. We got boss time. The thing that concerns me here is that I've had lots of fights with this particular boss that I've gotten through uh, significantly faster than using this weapon. It's very hard to get this one to, to get double shots like we can get on many of the enemies with. So you have to rely on the single shots. See, like, if you can get all of the attacks to come back through it, you're good. But if you can't, like, if you have to uh, do a little bit of circle strafing, um, you then are missing out on a whole bunch of the damage you would otherwise have. Still no duplicate. Shot. There we go. Finally, we got a double shot. That's what I've wanted this whole time. Uh, Tomb of Summoning, Tome of Speed, Tome of Elements. <laughs> Can I reroll, please? Uh, we'll take Tome of Speed. And we can move very fast now. That'll help us like move through certain positions, Sonic the Hedgehog our way through the fights. I don't know. We do have less health now than we did before, so that's something to to remember. These eyeballs have so much health. These little little irritating guys. Ow! And we only have two more hits left before we die, so I'm sure this will go well. <laughs> Armed and ready. Reload rate and max ammo up. Excellent. More ammo is going to be helpful, so we can toss out even more arrows and then draw them all back to us. Causing damage in our rows. What's better though? Having a whole bunch of arrows fly out and then come back to you, or having a weapon that does all that damage like right up front. <clears throat> Beginning to feel like maybe the other way around is better. I'm not sure. Uh, armed and ready. More max ammo. As yeah, when the bullets come back, they're significantly damaging. Because there's so many of them. That they just, like, cream all the enemies that are in the way. Gosh, we are so close to dead. Like, that was a good one. We can keep absorbing experience and then just kind of like rotating around and then having all those arrows come out and hit everybody. That's pretty good. 
then it pretty much wipes out most of the enemies that are in that spot. If these things had a larger range, like if they went off the map just slightly, they would be incredibly powerful in my opinion. As it is, they're okay, but I feel like there might be other options that are just stronger. Ah, there's so many of you. See, it's, it, this weapon is best when you use it while going backwards. Because if you use it while going forward, uh, enemies will just, like the arrows don't don't fly back through everyone. So well, that's neat. That's a, that's a good reaction right there. When we do the roundy round, they spin around you and then they hit everybody. We've lost. Ah, dang it. We earned some points. Let's let's give it one more go. Let's give it one more go with Shauna. And we'll see if we can make this this bow work. We'll stay on darkness one. Come on, bow. Do good things for us, okay? Come on. Let's see the range on the arrows. Low shooting, half the damage up front, half the damage later, but only if you position it well. Firing backwards while moving, best way to trigger these in a way that works for you. Because then you can stack up enemies and then the arrows come through them all. But that also means that you have to worry about enemies hitting you from behind, which we want to try to avoid. Um, we'll take power shot. Extra damage is helpful. Okay, let's gather you all together. Friends, Romans, countrymen, I gather you here today to speak uh, the divine word of archery guy who shoots arrows into all of his friends, Romans, and countrymen. I don't know. Uh, we'll take splinter. A little bit of damage off the splinters, not a lot. I need these things over here. There, if we're experience, give me my experience. Take big shot. I should have saved big shot. Man, that would have been a great thing to have tripled. Another thing that'd be great to have tripled would be if you were able to get the triple level up on your second uh, mini boss and you had already set up like uh, one of those synergy abilities that's just really strong already. I wonder if that's a possibility. This one definitely requires a lot more setup to, to make it strong. I am not doing well. Reaper rounds. Get you with the ow! With the reaper rounds. Reap them all. Reap them to death. Oh gosh, no. I'm doing worse this time than last time. <laughs> oh no. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Duplicates. That's what I'm talking about. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more bullets now. Throw them out, throw them out, and I really don't care how. Kill them. Kill them all. Shots come from everywhere. It's better to spread your shots around than have them all come from one direction, I've noticed. Unless you are um, facing like a boss or something, so you can pull them all through at the same time. Okay, let's see. Uh, what do we got here? We got uh, reroll. Give us some more health. We need it to survive. We're already low. <laughs> okay. We need to get our boss level up thing here soon. We need something that increases the range of our attacks to like three times as much.
Getting that uh, circular attacky thing again would be good too. Where we shoot all around us. None of these are it, so we will reroll. The game really kind of seems to push elemental stuff on you a lot. There we go, there's you. There's a few good hits. All right, we got it. Ow, get up. Ouch, what did we get? Uh, triple E effect, okay. So we're about to go up a level. Let's see what we get. Give us something good. Fan fire, maybe. Split fire, that would shoot multiple bullets behind us. That could also be really good, but I think fan fire is better. So does that mean we shoot like a whole heck of a lot of bullets around us? We do. Oh my gosh, that was a good one to get because those bullets still cause full damage on the return. They just don't cause it on the way out. Give us bullets behind us now. We're starting to have a build here. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. We fire so many around us, and they all pull in, doing an AoE effect on everyone out there. Now if we can just increase the damage of each one of those even further, or if we can just throw out a billion more. As it is, that's, that's significantly stronger than what we had running before. So there you go. There you go. You want to make your magic bullets good, your magic bow good? Just get AoEs like crazy. Fuselade, yes. Oh, I love it. That's what I'm talking about. Now, so long as they continue doing a decent amount of damage on the return, that will carry us quite a ways because that is a lot of damage. Um, but if it doesn't do enough as these enemies continue to stream in at us in large amounts, especially as we get closer to the 10 minute mark, then, uh, then we're boned. We will quick hands. We will quick hands. See, this build would have been amazing on Alana as well, except for the fact that we don't get quite as many spinning bullets at the end. I think this is kind of the perfect way to do this. So if this doesn't win it for us, either we've made bad decisions somewhere, like getting hurt as bad as we have, or uh, we didn't dodge well enough on like a boss like this one. Oh, quit it. We don't want to die. We're about to die, I think. Give me running gun. Oh God, that was so close. Got him, okay. That actually went fairly well. Bullet damage increased by 50% should do it for us. So we're gonna take it, yeah. We're a little slower on the shots. We're gonna need to work on getting our uh, our accuracy up here, or accuracy, our speed of attacks up. And yet, we now have significantly more damage on the bullets. That should help. Okay. Can we get attack speed? Bullet speed up. It's not attack speed though. None of these were it. Um, we'll pick up range increase so that we can make sure we keep ourselves leveled up as quickly as possible. Which will help us significantly in uh, continuing to grow in strength. If we don't have those level ups, well then it doesn't matter. We will lose. As we found out from our Sonic the Hedgehog one, uh, you can't outrun your problems forever. <laughs> I mean, maybe there's a build that could work that way, but we did not have it. In the wind, more bullet damage. Must have been the wind. Must have been the wind, must have been the wind. Okay. Ah, so many enemies, only one health. So many enemies, only one health. Uh, reload rate, increase max ammo up. 
I don't know if I actually wanted max ammo up because we actually get more damage out of having an empty clip, an empty magazine, than we do out of firing at people. Got our shield back. That's good news. Get him. Lots of shots going all over the place. Okay, let's see. Uh, kill clip. Increase reload rate by 5%. That's the good one. So we kill a whole bunch of bad guys. We'll get faster reloads, and then we'll be able to start firing again quickly. If we can get our fire rate up, this is going to be a winning run. At least I, I feel like it. We need to, of course, also maybe get some more health back. <laughs> get our shields to, to, to come back more rapidly so we can have room for mistakes because mistakes are what I do best. Take all of the death. Got you. Fresh clip. Let's reload even faster. Excellent. I like that a lot. Now we need the attack speed up. We're doing a decent job of keeping the enemies off us. We have a few more minutes left until things get super hairy. We'll stop getting so much experience right around the nine to five minute mark, right in between there, because the enemy amounts start to slow down a bit. Uh, let's see, every XP pickup has a 10% chance to refill one ammo. We're gonna take it because if we're out of ammo, we do the spin like that. Oh crap, we are in trouble. That was a big wave of clearing enemies. That's actually kind of a cool uh, strategy. Let's see. We could do take aim, bullet speed up, but that's not what we want. Uh, watch and learn. Let's get more, more pickup range. Gosh, dang it. Walk through them and then come back here and then reload, allowing us to clear that wave out. So we have a strategy for dealing with the massive amount of enemies over here right now. Anger point, rapid fire, we'll take the fire rate up, yeah. That's what we're missing is his fire rate so we can get through our our ammunition faster. That is so many arrows on the screen all at once, just pouring forth from us. Um, we'll take glare and mm, reroll. Oh, there we go. We got gun mastery. Everything goes up. It's just amazing. Or mini clip. Reload rate goes way up. Bullet damage goes up. And our max ammo goes... Oh, we got it. We got it. We have just won the game. <laughs> this is disturbing. There is no way for them to reach us any longer. I mean, I guess there is. They can still survive, and then that's a problem. And of course, more damage. I hope everybody doesn't have seizures from this. Uh, sorry. If you have light sensitivity or anything that could be causing this to be a problem to you, I apologize. This is a lot of zip, zip, zap, zip, zaps, back and forths. Lots of flashing uh, white lights and whatnot. I happen to have uh, some amazing glasses that help with this sort of thing already, so I have an advantage here. But at the same time, I'm starting to disassociate while playing, just staring at the center character. That's all I'm doing and trying to just survive. Uh, and the whole time I cannot, uh, I cannot really focus or see anything that's happening. <laughs> but we've gone and done it now. We have a build that will carry us towards end game. Let's see how this goes. I mean, this could be really bad. It pushes them back. Zoop, zoop. Zoop, 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 zoop. 
<laughs> just doing this, just standing here doing this, uh, is gonna give me a headache. I'm gonna stare at my OBS for a little while instead of instead of at the game and play it from there because it's way tinier. <laughs> Would I do this again? Probably not. <laughs> this this right here, this particular build is probably the hardest one to look at out of any that I've ever made. <laughs> you blinded me with science. And by science, I mean white flashy lights and on a dark field with a couple of red things and green things that are the only things keeping my eyes from literally dying right now. Kill them all. Kill all of the enemies all at once with your waves of white dots that never seem to cease. We will take a momentary breather. Hold on. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna take a drink. You need a rest? I think you need, I need a rest. If I need a rest, you probably need a rest. We got eight more minutes of this, everyone. Uh, we're not going to take a ghost trend. Rubber bullets are dumb. Giant size could be cool, maybe. Light bullets, that's better. Fire rate increases with extra ammo. Bullet speed. doesn't matter if we have extra ammo, because we won't actually have extra ammo. Okay, kill that boss. Let's see what we get from it. Probably the crown. Um where we can start picking up pieces of it, which will increase our vision range and all that kind of stuff. I'm not entirely certain that that's going to be worthwhile, but uh, let's see what we get. Yep, three Halo pieces. That's what I'm talking about. So we can start working on getting the Halo. It's pretty late to do that, but if we can get enough XP, it won't really matter too much. Um, and the Halo is pretty strong, if I remember. Shauna's part angel. Look at that. Pieces of your crown were missing all along, and we're going to collect them for you. Okay, we just need to get three level ups, and we can probably get all the pieces of the Halo if we survive. We're so close to dead. There's Halo piece two and three, and there's Intense Flare. We'll take that. Two more Halo pieces necessary. we got to get them all as quickly as possible. We're going to keep trying to get all the XPs we can find without dying. We only have one hit, and then we're toast. I'm hoping that our shield comes back here soon. It would be good if it did. But we're getting closer to it. Come on, you. Come on, you. Give us another level up. Give us XP. I'm tired of having no XP, because that's what's happening. These these uh, snake bitey monster things don't really give you much. For sure. There's quite a few of them. Give us big XP, please. Big XP. Come on. There's another level about to happen. We're level 27 already, which is actually a lot for this game at this point in time. 28. Okay, another Halo piece. We need one more. One more level up, and we can get the last Halo piece, and then uh, we'll see if that truly gives us uh, more survivability than we even have right now. The enemies are able to be pushed away with this triple spin thing, which is actually quite nice. Come on, get them all. Give us the level up. Give me level. I want the level up. Now I need to find the other Halo piece. Uh, Reroll. It's not here. Damn it. There, let's just stand still and not consume ammo. Not consuming ammo is actually a bad idea. Because we want our ammo consumed at all times so we can keep throwing out these waves of blinding light that are going to cause us all to have glaucoma. Uh, glaucoma is not something to joke about, I know. It's a horrible thing that lots of people happen to have to live with in their lives, and I'm sorry for it. There's the last Halo piece. We got them all. And we now have the Halo fire rate up 50%, reload rate up 50%, vision range up 75%. Is that helpful? I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Because uh, I thought it did damage, but I guess not. The extra vision range up means enemies take more damage, of course. The extra 12% that we've got set up right now for it. We do seem to be firing a lot quicker, so that's cool. Just tearing through these enemies with all of these arrows that just go 
everywhere. Okay, there we go. Death rounds. Max HP goes down by one. Your bullets deal an additional 10 damage. Yes. Does that count on the return? I think it does. That is just clearing these out like crazy. We've made it into the next boss part. All we gotta do is stay out of arm's way of all of these little orbs, which are irritating as heck, and the explosives. I'll just toss in continual damage out against this boss. Which I think we can do okay. If we stay just a little bit out of range, it can't do its spinning around thing. And we can keep harming it. Uh, stand ground projectiles plus two fire rate plus 25%? No. Hmm. Uh, we'll re-roll. We're gonna take intense glare. Damage of glare is doubled. Oh, that was really close. I nearly died right there. Nearly died right there, too. Oh, God. No, that was it! We were so close. I almost had it. Ah, all right. Well, that is going to be today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves. This has been 20 Minutes Till Dawn, a game by Flan. Or Flan, or Flain, or whatever. It's a really great time sink. Uh, it's something you can just start playing and, and just, you know, enjoy yourself in. 20 minutes at a time, or 10 to 15 minutes in most cases. Check it out and get it. It is cheap. It is an inexpensive game. It's only like, I don't know, last time I checked, only a few dollars. And uh, support indie developers. That's that's a that's that's the that's the whole thing. That's the vision. That's the that's the lesson to be learned from today. Thank you very much for watching. And bye bye.